Hey boys, welcome back to some more Rugby League Live 4 Fan Hub Edition. This time we got Kieran Foran on the front there. Excellent, once again. Um, but in this episode, well, we're just going to continue on with what we did last time, and that's look at some um, some stadiums. So like I like I said in that last episode, I downloaded a bunch of like the top rated ones. As you see here, we got a we got a bunch here, and I know a couple of couple of subs were, you know claiming a couple of couple of theirs I looked at so uh you know good job to to the guys that uh have made the stadium I you know I'm I'm excited to see you know just it, it's just going to add more depth into like the game in terms of like you know more localized grounds which is cool and uh so where did we finish off I think we looked we looked at these yeah we did finish off with the, the one in Fiji so uh this one uh in Dubbo, I guess. So uh, let's let's have a have a gander. I will. I don't know. I've got a bunch more downloaded, but after this video, I might actually have a look at like downloading some actual like, you know, stadiums. Um, looking for certain stadiums, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, this one is uh, is a fair bit different again. Like they're all, you know, like I've said it before, but there are like a bunch of there are some pretty neat tools you can use, but it is, it is limited. Like, you're not going to be able to, you know, replicate things to an exact. But I do like the, uh, the trees in the background of both of these. You got the, the big two, te uh, two deck stadium over here. The one over here. And, uh, this time you got the parking out the back. So, you know, another, another pretty neat, neat looking stadium right here. All, uh, all pretty cool and I did talk I did mention this in the last video but I'm I wonder like I'm assuming the big screens they actually do play the game like obviously you know when you um, play in the the stadiums already made you got the big screen there you can actually see the game unfold on the big screen which is a really neat touch but I'm assuming with um, the uh, you know the custom stadiums you can make I'm hoping that you know the the big screens actually work I I would imagine they would, but it would uh, it would look cool as well. This one, well, this one's actually pretty pretty nifty. This one's more more rural. It actually <laughs> looks like a bit of a. It's got like an old old uh, old school sort of like pavilion. It, look, it looks more like a cricket sort of clubhouse that type of thing. Um, big uh, big parking lot back here. Got the one one big stand over there. Uh, but this one this one's pretty neat. I like uh. I just like the differences in them. It's uh, it's cool to to check out. I can't remember there was there was one further down in the list I, I had downloaded. Someone someone said they they made so. Allah, uh, can't remember which one he said. I think it might have been oh the Central Coast. That's what he said. The Central Coast Stadium. I, this might not be the one he made. I think he said he made a Central Coast. It could be the same one. We'll uh we'll have a look at it. See uh see uh see what's up with it as uh it is loading here it's actually like pretty quick loading the uh the stadiums i, I sort of remember don brown and cricket um was like really slow uh from memory like i remember like like just the other day i saw a twitter um photo of central coast stadium filled out and uh it was sort of like this view i think and i think it looks pretty good um from memory i i kind of i just can't get the image in my head but uh I think that looks pretty similar um got like the tree line there and then the the stadium does go around like that it's got the one opening it's a it's a pretty I do like Central Coast Stadium it does look pretty cool and I think they've done a, a pretty darn good job no uh no logos on the on the screens here but uh yeah from memory that uh that does look like the like the screenshot I'm thinking of, but uh, yeah, if this is the if this is the stadium that uh, I can't remember his name, I apologise. You know, so many people message me about uh, the stadiums they've made. So whoever did message me about that, it's a uh, it's a it's a darn good uh, darn good stadium. Which uh, which one should I look at? Um, I don't know. A couple of custom ones I downloaded. I don't I don't know what the hell they would be. Uh, what's that one? Let's just have a look at one of these. We'll have a look at a couple more of these and uh, yeah in like future episodes You know, I'll I might like fine-tune what I actually look at. Okay, so these are more These are sort of like unfinished. Maybe we'll uh, 
we'll go back and have a look at some of the ones with the like the uh, Chimera Magpies ground. Um, but yeah, fine tune the surge, actually find some stadiums. Like people can actually make, like actually look at this one, this is a wild looking one. I, you know, this is, you got the big oval field, you know, it's uh, it's quite different for a, for a rugby league ground, obviously not the, not the best viewing, but um, it's definitely, it's definitely unique in, uh, in that sense. Probably the one thing, I don't know, I haven't looked at like the options for like stuff on the sideline, like you've got like the little benches and stuff, but maybe if, you know, have a bit more stuff. And I guess the other thing is like obviously there's no people, there's no players, there's no, uh, you know, cheerleaders and all that sort of stuff. So it does look a bit barren there. Um, and obviously during a game that's going to be, uh, you know, fledged out a bit more. Uh, we will have a look. This will be the last one we look at in this video, and then that's all that'll do it. So it's some pretty, some pretty interesting ones here. It's uh, like I've said, it's uh, it's need to look at all these from a high vantage point. This one, I do like this one. It's like nestled in, um, inside all the trees here. Pretty cool, actually. <laughs> this would actually be like a really cool stadium to actually like go to and play at, like just being like hidden away from like the outside world in the trees. Um, I can't remember what it was called. I don't know if it's an actual, it probably is an actual stadium. I I don't know what, what stadium it is. So, you know, but uh, I actually like it quite a bit. You've got a few logos, like this actually showcases the logo created. So you'll see you got McDonald's there. You got Amy, uh, the actual NRL logo. You got a PlayStation there as well. So those logos, um, have been, I'm assuming they've just been like imported from people and uploaded to the uh, the fan hub. Um, the odd one out actually did a video showcasing some of the logos and uh, yeah, you can pretty much just download those logos and then use them on jerseys in the stadiums. So it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty good indeed. Um, so I am, I'm very keen to also check out some like, cool jersey designs and stuff like that. So I will, you know, I'll hop back on. I haven't been on the fan hub for a, for a few days now. So I'm, I'm keen to get back on and see what new designs we have going. But we finish off with a good one here. I actually really like this stadium. So I think the Central Coast ground and uh, this ground have been uh, very, very cool. I, I just really, I, I want to play this ground. It looks awesome. I, I really like just the backdrop of the trees. It looks a lot different because like the other ones, you know, you pretty much just see the same sort of background there. It looks a little, a little weird, but um, the trees keep it nice and hidden. It's uh, it's pretty cool. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the lead up here. I'm hoping, you know, I, <laughs> I did say in the first episode that I was expecting a drill to be unlocked on Friday. I was obviously wrong about that, but hopefully we do. You know, the game. What is the date? Is the ninth. So the game is so close. I, I am expecting to get a couple of drills before it releases. So you know, it's pretty much is a wait and, wait and see sort of scenario. So yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see, like I said, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.